So this weekend we have, uh, we've been defining what it means to be a woman in business, a female entrepreneur. Um, we have done all sorts of different workshops. Um, we've been encouraged to uh, keep mixing, keep networking. Thank you all very much. Yeah, and my ideas are anything but pants, thank you. <laughs> See, to anyone else that is damning with faint praise, but I know what that means. The entrepreneurial prants are, are live, they are up on the web. Please do download them, use them, play with them and get them out there. I'd like to introduce you to my pants drawer. First out of the drawer are the Kapaunikas. The Kapaunikas are what give you the drive and energy to run your own business, um, to work till all hours of the night and to just keep going. The Kapaunikas remind you what you're going to achieve and why it's so great to be an entrepreneurial woman. The reason I was here today was for the weekend was to um, to gain some ideas about how to move different aspects of my business forward and and it's proved to be a great success because I'm inundated with with ideas um, and I'm looking forward to moving forward with some of the, the ideas for my business. Next up are the busy bee knickers. The busy bee knickers are active, they're organised, they get things done, they produce. They're the planners, they're the doers, they have tenacity, they're organised and they get stuff done. Yes, very worth that. It's been good to hear about other ideas and it's been a really interesting group of women. I think hearing other people's ideas help you to sort of think about different applications in your own environment, in your own workplace and, and just sparks other ideas and other connections. Sometimes things don't go well for the girl geek. Entrepreneurship isn't always a happy thing and there are times when you get the knockback, you don't get the work that you want and on days like that you need to be wearing your superstar pants. Just to remind you that you are a superstar, you can do this, people think you're great, you're respected in your field, you know your stuff and you can do it. Girls, never take off your superstar pants. It's been fantastic. I think, um, yes, it's going on the stuff in our own heads, but I think uh, networking and talking to the other women and hearing their ideas and kind of lets the juices flow, and I think that's really um, an op a great opportunity. You know, being in a comfortable place with good food, clearly lots of alcohol, um, is a really really unique opportunity for me anyway. Now we come to the sensible knickers. The sensible knickers are there because there's a lot that has to be done in a business. There's the books, there's the legal, there's all the governance. But the sensible pants have also got a lot of integrity and honesty. They do what they say on the tin. They get things, they get on with the job. They're not very sexy, but they're important and they underpin your business. You need to have at least one day a week when you're wearing your sensible pants. Uh, been encouraged to think about how we promote ourselves, how we promote our businesses, um, how we develop creative thought, how we get ourselves out of a rut, um, you know, finding the right questions to ask ourselves in developing a business. So, um, no, I think it's been an amazing experience and, um, you know, hopefully some friendships and some connections made out this weekend. And finally, I think what you've all been waiting for are your customer pants. They're not always the most comfortable pants to wear, but the customer pants, well, we know what the customer wants and we deliver. We know our markets, we know how to make our customers feel special, um, and we know what to deliver in order to keep them coming back. Perhaps not the first choice for a girl geek, perhaps we're more interested in the getting things done, in the drive, but we need our customers and we need to make them happy. Been meeting other girl, girl geeks and just sort of trying to um, get inspiration from other women who are doing something similar and also getting out of my office because I 
work alone and it can be quite alienating at times. So it's been really good to talk and network with other women who are in a very similar position to myself. This weekend was a very interesting experience for me definitely because it gave me more focus on what I want to do and how I'm actually going to get there. Uh, so it was really good. And the other thing that was the most important was the networking thing. So I met a lot of same-minded women, a uh, very supportive environment here. And um, I'm looking forward to actually having more relationships with all the people I met here. So it was brilliant. <laughs>